tonight and of course there's been quite a battle all day coming against this message because i'm going to be dealing with is the spirit of jezebel holding you back destroying your life stealing your health stealing your finances destroying your relationships ru ruining your joy your dominion is it is it causing you confusion confusion and havoc because that's what that spirit does People get so hung up on this. Oh, I don't want to talk about it. someone called me a Jezebel. I'm not calling anybody a Jezebel, but you need to understand that a spirit of Jezebel is what is controlling all the confusion that is happening right now in America. And one of the things that we absolutely need to know that there is a spiritual pattern to the attack that's happening it's happened before, but let's just focus on 2020. It starts with the spirit of religion. A spirit of religion demands works. It's not righteousness in Christ, but righteous self-righteousness. It's a narcissistic spirit. It's a spirit that wants to put it all on you to fix every problem, to you to provide protection, for you to be able to have to, if you do this, then you get that. That's a religious spirit. And when that religious spirit fails you, and you do everything right religiously, but yet God doesn't hear and God doesn't deliver, guess who comes knocking at the door? Jezebel. That spirit of Jezebel comes next, and it says, well, guess what? You didn't do it right. You're not good enough. God didn't show you how, didn't uh, answer your prayer. God didn't, didn't perform or deliver the miracle or the blessing to you. So let me show you how you can manipulate and get what you want. And that Jezebel spirit is a spirit all about seduction and manipulation. Jezebel spirit can operate through a man or a woman. It is, it is, <clears throat> it is, let's just get real focused on it because what's happening through the mass media manipulation right now, what absolutely is happening is a religious spirit demanding works, a Jezebel spirit manipulating and seducing and a leviathan spirit twisting words so that we can never get to any facts or any truth so last tuesday on trendy tuesday i was delivering on the religious spirit so you can go back into the archive and make sure that you watch that but tonight we're going to deal with the big one that's that jezebel spirit and we're going to make sure we're going to walk through a test tonight to make sure that you're not being influenced and if you are one of the keys to repentance and breaking assignments of the devil is to understand that you actually are really getting attacked now christy is here with me and we're going to have communion at the end so please get your get your kiddish cups ready Get your communion ready because we're going to finish this and seal this and break this assignment off you and your family, your churches and your business. So we're going to do that tonight. And um, But we need to understand, first of all, how it works and what are the symptoms. And most importantly is how do I get this spirit out of my life and off my, my back? How do I stop its influence? And that's what we're going to do tonight. Now, if you're interested in this, go ahead and say in the comments, say amen, say I'm ready to go. Now, the key is, is that you need to get my notes on this. So go right there to this, go to uh, HTTPS, okay, right there. You go to clmmin.com forward slash J-E-Z, okay. I'm going to give you some time, just write that down. CLMMIN.com forward slash J E Z. And then what you'll do is you'll get all my notes and everything that I'm going through tonight. You'll also get the notes on the uh, religious spirit as well. So I want to be able to send those to you. It's a free download, something that you want to share. And I mean, this, this, is, a, this is going to cause a major breakthrough for you in your ministry I can, and, and you and your business and for you and your family. So go to clmmin.com forward slash jez, J-E-Z. So I want you to get the notes. The notes will look like this. This is a blog I did uh, a while back. And you'll get all these, all these notes, okay? And you'll get some personal stuff in, the, in these notes from me, all right? So I want you to go ahead and, and order that. And, and get that t tonight. And as well, is I want you to go ahead and order, uh, I've got a, a new Psalm 91 out, okay? Psalm 91, 
and uh, you can go on to my webpage. You can go to KurtLandry.com, and on my staff, they'll show you this. This is the new Psalm 91 prayer, and, and it's personalized. And the way it works here, it says, like, Father God, and it says, thank you, and then you put your family name. So I would put, you know, Kurt Landry, or House of David, Kurt Landry Ministry and Partners. Lord, we declare that we dwell in your secret place, the secret place of the Most High, and we abide under the sh shadow of the Almighty. In boldness we decree that you are our refuge and our fortress, our God in whom we trust. And then it says, we trust in you, and then right here we insert the name of God. So this is teaching you how to pray in the courts of heaven with effective prayers. Because see, we're going to get you free tonight. I promise you. You just stay with me tonight. We're going to get free. We're going to break this generational curse of Jezebel off your family. Okay? And maybe some other spirits. But this is a key is that you want to be able to pray this. I would pray it every day over your family. And along with this, what I've got coming, uh, Megan put this together for you. And these are the names of God, okay? And so what you do with this is you insert here when you say you're the you're uh, the Lord the God we trust, and then you would put in here. Let's say you need provision. You are the God we trust. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are my provider. And and we have all the names here of God that you would want to put in uh, there, you know. You're Emmanuel. You are God with us. All the names that are here. So I want you to go ahead and uh, my staff will put that uh, letter up there the, where you would get that. And you can order that, either that or you can just go to KurtLandry.com and, and, and get those. Okay? So you can go to KurtLandry.com and uh, you can get your Psalm 91. This is the new and improved version, but you're going to need that and you're going to need these notes. I really kind of want to get you ready, and my purpose for breaking this is because I want you to join us for the fall feast. And so we've got the fall feast when it's time to learn how to speak to the rock. And so registration is free, but you need to register. And you either need to join us at House of David or join us because we'll be broadcasting from House of David live stream, but we'll also be broadcasting from my house. And so you need to be able to get your information there and prepare for a virtual experience. If you've not had Rosh Hashanah at your house, you need to prepare for that. If you've never experienced between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, that's the 10 days of awe, you need to experience that in your home. It's powerful because Rosh Hashanah, awaken. 10 days of, of, of uh, awe, examine and receive revelation. Yom Kippur, repent and turn. And then the Feast of Sukkoth, Tabernacles, abide and live in the new blessings that God has given you. So you need to walk through this. So personally inviting you. So make sure you register, mark the dates, and you'll literally be able to have a virtual experience at your house. And I'm doing some special things from my home. So you'll actually see how the Landry's and the Marcelinos and, and maybe some of our other friends, the Osballs and others, how do you celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles in your home? What do you do? What causes you to be able to appreciate this feast and this Moed? Moed in Hebrew is this appointed time of the Lord. So we're going to be doing that and it's going to be powerful. If you're going to join us, I, I need to know how many of you are going to join us. If you're going to join, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. That's good. That's good. Give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and say, listen, we're going to join you. Now, if you've not heard uh, Pastor Robert Morris, Pastor Robert Morris a while back from Gateway Church in Dallas, Texas, he has a testimony and a teaching on his encounter with the spirit of Jezebel. And it's an amazing testimony, okay? And he, he gives the testimony how basically how basically he was ready to quit his ministry. Imagine, he was the, he's the founder of, of that huge church down there in that ministry. And he is getting so oppressed by this spirit that he actually is thinking about quitting. 
And that's what happens. And that's why in this hour, this getting rid of this Jezebel spirit is, is absolutely critical. But you need to know that it's influencing you. And that's what I'm going to walk you through today. But I would recommend to watch that on YouTube. It's Pastor Robert Morris at Gateway Church. He tells his story. It's about an hour. It's a long message, but he, he gives that testimony. But he also shows how when he gets free from it, which you're going to do tonight with me, when he gets free from it, literally, when, when, he, when, the, when he prayed and got free from it, it was like that. I mean, the door started to open up, finances opened up, oper everything. It's amazing. And the same thing's going to happen to you. Now, Christy and I could sit here and tell you about the times we have had to battle the Jezebel spirit, and I can promise you the testimony is the same way, and now I'm going to get into the scripture because I want you to understand why, okay? So if you go in the book of Revelations chapter 2 and, and you go into verse 19, I'm going to read 19 through 20, and I'll read out of the New King James, and this is what it says, I know your works. And this, this, this is why this spirit sometimes is so difficult to identify. Because it says, I know your works, your love, your service, your faith, your patience as your works. And it even goes on to say, the last are more than the first. So what is he saying here? He says, I know your works. You have great works. You have great patience. Your work is even increasing. So it's amazing that you can have a ministry or business or even in a family situation where you have great production, great numbers, everything's producing, and everything's going well. But in verse 20, it says, nevertheless. Now that nevertheless, that's a warning. Nevertheless, everything's going well. You know, people are getting saved in your church. People are getting healed in your church. People say, well, how could that happen if there's a Jezebel spirit influencing that church? Because the gifts and calling of God are irrevocable. So that's why people say, how can you have sin in a church? And the sin is still, pro the church is still prospering, even with signs and wonders, because the gifts and calling are irrevocable. But I'm, I'm, what I'm talking about is being able to go to that next level of promotion, because that's what's coming in these fall feasts. He says, nevertheless, I have a few things against you. Now, anytime the Lord says he has something against you, you want to pay attention, especially during this season of judgment. We're in a season of judgment in America and around the world, and we want to know if the Lord has something against us in this judgment season, wouldn't it be wise to know what it is so that we can repent to get free from that judgment? So it says, I have this against you because you allow... And, and some translates because you tolerate that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophetess to teach, seduce my servants to commit sexual immorality and to eat the things sacrificed to idol. And verse 21, I gave her time to repent of her sexual immorality and she did not repent. And then it says, indeed, I cast her into a sick bed and those who committed adultery with her into great tribulation unless they repent of their deeds also. And that's what we're going to do tonight. You know, you don't need to find out that you've been influenced by a Jezebel spirit by being thrown into a sickbed. Uh, you don't have to uh, have it be thrown into confusion and to poverty. And, and that's what I'm talking about tonight. This is very serious. So go ahead and, and uh, go into those comments and say, I'm serious tonight. Go ahead, just say that while I take a drink. Say, I'm serious tonight. Okay. I almost have to unteach all the stuff that you've been taught about the Jezebel spirit. <laughs> Well, people say, well, I'm not being influenced by a Jezebel spirit because I'm not seducing anybody and, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm not, there's no sexual thing going on. Don't get hung up on the whole sexual part of this, okay? Listen, Jezebel's alive and well in the church. Look at all the pornography. You know, these people may not be uh, having uh, immoral acts with somebody, but, the, but that spirit is seducing the church. And, and uh, so, and, but it's also seducing, it's absolutely seducing social media uh, and the mass media manipulation. So I, I think you would be foolish to say, well, I'm not being influenced by that. If you look through the, the whole thing in social media and everything that's happening, it's, it's so sexually perverted. And, and that's that seducing spirit. 
and 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 we you would you would be foolish to not say you're not influenced by it because if it comes in here and it comes in here it, it is influencing you and that's my assignment tonight is to break its assignment from influencing you and even though you may have prayed this last year this would be something in preparation for the feast whether it's the fall feast or the the spring with passover you you need to stay free from this because the lord says i have nevertheless i have a few things against you now one of the things I, that you may not understand about this when it says eating the things sacrificed to idols i mean obviously uh you know we're not doing that that's not something that that is an issue in modern day society. So let me break it down in, in Hebraic biblical culture. During the uh, uh, Tor Jerusalem Council, during the council when in the book of Acts where they made a decision, and in that decision that Gentiles didn't have to live as Jews and Jews didn't have to live as Gentiles in regards to circumcision of the flesh, in regards to, to food and dietary restrictions. Okay, so but one of the keys is, is that eating the things that have been sacrificed to idols, Jewish people cannot eat that even if it was kosher food. Doesn't make any difference. It's not a dietary, it's not like, well, it's pork. It's not that. It's anything that was sacrificed in the temple, anything sacrificed to idols, Jews cannot participate in those meals. And so what happens is the key that I want you to understand about a Jezebel, Jezebelic spirit and that Baal structure in Jezebel, it wants to separate Jews and Gentiles. Absolutely wants separation. Jezebelic spirit is totally anti-Semitic. It hates Jewish people. And if you could see what happened between Jezebel and Elijah, you can see she wasn't real big on that Jewish prophet. And, and she absolutely uh, you know, cannot tolerate uh, a Jewish prophets and Jewish apostolic leadership and Jewish leadership at all. So that's all I want to point out there is that we need to have this spirit absolutely broken off us in Yeshua's name. Amen. Now, I want to go through, first of all, some of the basic symptoms of when a Jezebel attack comes. And we can look at Elijah. I'm not going to go there in the scripture, but if you want to look it up, you can go to 1 Kings 19, and I'll be re reading 19, 1 through 4. I mean, I'm going to be, sorry, I'll be referencing uh, 1 Kings 19, 1 through 4. You can read it for yourself. Now, understand, here's Elijah, okay? He goes to Mount Carmel. He has this huge victory over all these uh, evil priests and these soldiers and all these men, hundreds of them, okay? He just goes there, totally wipes them out, and spiritually, physically, he overcomes. He's physical. And then Jezebel comes and says words. All it is is words. And she speaks a threat. And she says, what you did to my people, now I'm going to do it to you. And it's an amazing thing that what does he do? Fear, a spirit of fear in Jezebel hits him and he, and, he, and he just literally goes from superhero, courageous and fearless to fearful and running. And that's what a Jezebel spirit will do. A Jezebel spirit will always come and attack, especially when right before your victory or right after your victory, like Elijah. Elijah has this victory and then here comes this, this accusation of, okay, what you just accomplished now, I'm going to put it on you. And I'm warning you that because you have to understand that trials and tribulations always come immediately for the word's sake. So the first thing that will happen is when you get delivered from this, from this fear tonight, or whenever you're watching this program, when you get free from what we're going to pray tonight, understand that, uh, that it's going to try to come back. The word says once a house is swept clean, the enemy tries to come back seven times worse. Okay? Now understand that. He wants to try to come back seven times worse. Okay? And understand it's going to come. So I'm warning you, and this is why when it comes, you don't run. You stand up against it, and then you get that Psalm 91 prayer that we just did that you're going to order, and you start speaking that Psalm 91 as soon as that fear starts knocking on your mind. And that Jezebelic structure starts saying, you know what? You thought you bound and cast me out. Now watch what I do to you. 
I'm just warning you up front and let's agree right now in Yeshua's name, it's not going to prosper. The key is, is that you have to resist it because the violent take it by force. Now, the second thing happened after the fear, what happened to Elijah? He isolates. Remember, he says, he's, I'm the only one. And the Lord has to say, no, 7,000 haven't bent their need to, be, to bail. Okay, so you're gonna isolate. That's the next thing. Don't isolate, okay? Do not isolate. The third thing, he's exhausted. And many of you are exhausted right now. Many of you are so wiped out, you don't even understand why. You're getting good sleep, you're eating, you're, you're not doing a lot of the activities you had to do because uh, of the COVID and you're, and you're sheltering in a little bit and you're not out and amount. But here you are wiped out and exhausted. That's a Jezebel spirit. It is trying to steal your joy because the joy of the Lord is our strength. So Elijah went from fear, isolation, exhaustion, and then depression. And a lot of you are battling depression right now. We're going to break that assignment of depression in Yeshua's name. It comes from a Jezebel spirit. And the fifth is quitting. Many of you are thinking about quitting. At, at House of David, CLM, our ministry, uh, on our phone lines, literally, uh, my staff, I, can't, I don't want to say the wrong number, but they're saying there's been a drastic increase in the calls about suicide. And that's soon as I got that call and, and uh, Patty called me and another one of my staff called me and said, listen, we're having an increase of suicide phone calls. I said right then, we're getting that Jezebel spirit because it runs, wants you to be fearful, isolate, depress, and quit. And don't do it in Yeshua's name. Are you hearing me? Go ahead and say in the comments saying, I'm not doing it. Say, I'm not doing it. If God be for me, who can be against me? I'm not doing it. I am not doing it. You hear me? You hear what I'm saying? I'm not doing it. Go ahead. You put it in there. We're breaking that assignment of depression off you in Jesus' name and quitting. And the other signs of a, of a Jezebelic influence attacking you is strange sicknesses that won't go away. Just weird, bizarre little stuff. You know, starts hanging on you, hanging on you, and you can't, like it would normally, something would, would last for just a little bit, but it just hangs on and hangs on and hangs on. That's a sign that can be a sign of a Jezebelic spirit and bizarre accidents like little foxes attacking you and, and accidents. Those are signs of it as well. So anyway, we, choose to, we need to choose to acknowledge that we've been influenced. So if you feel like you have been suffering, if that pattern I just gave, if that's affecting you, go ahead and say in the comments saying, it's affecting me. Go ahead, just because we're, we're gonna say it's affecting me. You know, you need to be honest with God. I'm, I'm not saying you're a Jezebel. I'm saying that you've been affected or you're being influenced by a Jezebel spirit. Go ahead, put it in there. I hope this is helping you. Tonight, we need to choose to repent and we need to choose to walk away from it. And you say, well, I didn't even know it. It doesn't make any difference. We're going to be honest because we're perishing for lack of knowledge. We're going to say to the Lord, say, Lord, I didn't even know it, but I take responsibility for it. I repent. I'm repenting for it. Now, we're not there yet, but I want you to start getting prepared for this because you have to choose to walk in freedom. So my question to you tonight is tonight your night to walk in freedom, to take responsibility of the warfare in your life, surrender your religious spirit works, like you're gonna take this on and work it out, that hasn't worked for you. So you're going to surrender it, you're gonna lay this at the cross, and you're gonna receive grace and mercy from God to break this assignment in Yeshua's name. Amen, if that's you, say that's me. One of the reasons I'm doing this right now is because of Ezekiel 33 and 6. And I'll read it to you. But if a watchman sees a sword coming and does not blow the trumpet, and the people are not warned, the sword comes and takes any person away from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood I require on the watchman's hand. I'm giving you a watchman word. Right now, all over the world, not just in America, all over the world, religious work spirits are wearing people out with dead works. Jezebelic spirits are manipulating and seducing. And Leviathan spirits are twisting words 
causing people wanting to quit on God. It's not, it's just that concise, it's that simple, but it's also that complex, okay? Now, we need to understand that every community battles Jezebelic spirits. Every church battles it, businesses battle it, any places of influence, they battle it. Doesn't mean that you're bad. Every organization has divisive members that are trying to, to manipulate, and that's all they know. But where does it come from? It comes from rejection. Where does rejection come from? 90% of the time, rejection comes from a religious spirit. When people pray and do everything right religiously, they don't do it in the spirit, but by man's works, self-righteousness, not righteousness in Christ, and it fails, then they feel rejected. I tithed, I prayed, I fasted, I gave offerings, it didn't work. Up, oh, I'm rejected. That's when Jezebel comes in. Everyone has rejection and they battle it, but we come out of agreement with that rejection right now in Yeshua's name. Go ahead and say, I'm coming out of agreement with the spirit of rejection. Go and just put it in there into the comments right now in Yeshua's name. Amen. And amen. So I'm going to go through 30. I'm going to go through 30 uh, symptoms that you are being influenced by a Jezebel spirit. So I want you just to get a pad of paper like this, like what I'm doing, okay? And then on the top, I want you just to write Jezebel spirit. Come on, this is all an exercise. Okay? Just right on the top, just like this. All right? And then I want you to number down 1 through 30. Okay? Go ahead. I'm waiting on you. I'm doing it. You're doing it. We're all doing it at the same time. Keep numbering down. We had a wonderful day at House of David. Uh, school exams started today. Now, I understand this is pre-K and kindergarten. So... All these little people are in there getting tested to find out where they are. I'm thinking of that as I'm going down the numbers. But what an interesting atmosphere change in the administration building of House of David, Kurt Landry Ministries, my olive tree, uh, all that. This is a, you know, a corporate setting. And now we have a school and hearing the pitter patter and the laughing and the chasing and all the stuff they do. It was just a, and I, I was in the office today. It's just a beautiful, beautiful day. And uh, I'm so glad. Thank you for all your support that we can raise these little, they are so excited. They're all dressed up with their little stuff. And they got the little backpacks, which they didn't need to bring. But, you know, they're wearing them anyway, getting ready. It was beautiful. I was just thinking that as I did the numbers, because that was one of the things is how far can they count? Do they recognize numbers? Letters. All right. You have it? There you go. All right. So now I'm going to ask questions, and all I want you to do is yes or no, and just put a Y or an N. Okay? Just put a Y or an N. The whole purpose of this exercise is because you probably don't realize how much how much you're being influenced by this okay and and so we're gonna go through it and then we're gonna break that assignment are you ready hallelujah okay number one being influenced by a Jezebel spirit refusing to admit guilt or you're wrong and that's really powerful because if you can't say you're wrong, when we go into the courts tonight, first thing we're going to say, you're going in the court of mercy tonight, you've got to be able to say from your heart, I'm wrong, I'm guilty. Because we're going to the just judge. If you can't admit wrong and guilt, you're trapped. So it's no big deal. You know, we're wrong and guilty all the time. But, but when you feel like shame over it, and in fact, some of you, some of you, if you feel really shameful, you need to go ahead and, and put in the comments. Go ahead, type it out. I'm wrong and I'm guilty. 
Listen, I'm wrong and guilty about a lot of things all the time. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, Christy's in the chair. Yeah, see? <laughs> but she is right. <laughs> no, it's not. Listen, I'm not perfection. You listen, I'm, 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 it's not how I operate, believe me. The Lord called me, praise God. I wouldn't have chose me. He chose me. And and she, you chose me, and but I, it's not a perfection thing for me. It's just not the where it goes. I do the best I can. That's all there is. But uh, but I'm free. Praise God, I am free. And I can I can tell you, yeah, I'm wrong and guilty, and I have no problem saying it. I just want you to be free from it and get free from that religious guilt. Like, oh my gosh, I have to be perfect for God to love me. No, you don't. Stop that in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Okay, second, so you just write yes or no and uh, take credit for everything. Number three, use people to accomplish its agenda. Four, withhold information. You're an information broker. Five, talks in confusion. Number six, volunteers for everything. Wants to be involved in everything. Seven, lies. Eight, ignores people. Nine, never gives credit to show gratitude. Ten, criticizes everyone. Eleven, one-upmanship. Just go yes or no. Twelve, sequesters information. That means he holds information back. Never tells, like, don't get all the facts. 13. Uses information for manipulation. 14. Talks incessantly. 15. Spiritualizes everything. 16. Is insubordinate. Won't submit to authority. 17. Am I, go am I going too fast? Yes. Too fast? Okay, sorry, I'm going too fast. I'll slow down and take a drink. And I'll slow down. Okay, 17. You want me to run through them again? Or? You all right? Yeah. To take notes, they can't write well, it's not notes. It's all I want you to do is yes or no. You're going you're gonna to order. You're going to order my notes. Yeah. If this is just a spontaneous, the first thing, and you're not, please, don't answer like, well, I want, I want a certain answer, so <laughs> don't do that. This is strictly for you. You're not showing it to anyone. I'm not going to have you hold your thing up against the screen and say, and look at this. Yeah, look at Betty there. She had uh, 29 out of 30. <laughs> this isn't how this is working. This is just to get you into a place where mentally you understand how much you're being influenced so that when we repent, and bust this thing off you, you're doing it with, with reality, not saying, well, I'm just praying because I don't think I know. Believe me, in the last 90 days with all this COVID and all this mass media manipulation with, with this pandemic and everything, they, uh, the fake news and all the stuff, this thing is on purpose, okay? The key is I want to get you free from it, amen? All right. 17 is pushy and domineering. Pushy and domineering. 18, clairvoyant. Yes or no. 19, uses the element of surprise. 20, sows seeds of discord. 21, commands attention. 22, vengeful, retaliatory. 23, remember, these are just, you're being influenced by this. When this spirit starts influencing you, it takes you from your even your normal personality and nature, and these 
symptoms start moving in. 23. Attempts to make you look like you are a Jezebel. Twenty-four. Struggles with any disapproval. If any correction comes, it's like an emotional crisis. And the reason why? Twenty-five. Because Jezebelic influence knows it all. Can't be corrected. I know everything. 26 is ambitious. 27 gives gifts, gift giving. But it's manipulation, always giving gifts to try to get close, particularly to leadership. 28, independent, doesn't trust others. That spirit isolates. Remember with Elijah. Fear runs, isolates. 29 is religious. Everything's done by works. And 30, and the last one is Jezebel likes to hide. I want to say this publicly that in the United States of America, the Jezebelic spirit can be seen fueling immorality in our nation, while at the same time a religious spirit stands staunchly to make sure that no laws change and that the two consistently are in deadlock. And that's the thing that's amazing about this attack is that a religious spirit attacks the Jezebel spirit and the Jezebel spirit attacks the religious spirit. And, and then in addition to that, the Leviathan spirit jumps in and starts twisting the words. And that's what you see happening in Congress. That's what you see happening in the Senate. And even in the administration, this is a huge battle that's happening right now, and it's in full-blown manifestation. Have you ever asked yourself why? Why do we have all these special investigations, but where, where are the people actually being sentenced? You know, when, when do we actually sentence them and send them to jail? When do they actually get arrested? We spend millions of dollars on investigations, but we never get to closure. Why? Because these spirits are operating and that Leviathan spirit twists it so long that everything gets so prolonged that nobody even knows what in the heck they're going after in the first place. This is a very destructive spirit. I'm not saying that we're going to take it off this nation tonight. That's not it. But we are going to break it off you right now. If you're ready in Yeshua's name. So what you need to do is go down, go down your list and just look at it. And the next thing I want you to do is I want you just to count. How much influences are you having? There's one, two through 30. And, and you go ahead and put that number down of how much you're being uh, influenced by it. If you're a free person and you feel comfortable, go ahead in the count comments and saying, so go ahead and say, listen, I'm, I've got 10 influences. I've got 20 influences. Some of you may say, listen, I've got all 30 of these things, man. I'm being bombarded. Go ahead and just put it right out there. Because one of the things that's going to happen is that you, what I want you to see, and I already know it, I don't need to see the numbers, okay? I don't need to see your number. But what your brothers and sisters need to see is that because of fear and isolation, they're like Elijah. They feel like they're the only one. When you're putting your real number out there, that helps them. This is, this is, a, this is fellowship. See what I'm saying? This is a fellowship. And, and, and we're all, most of you are CLM partners. So you're, you're part of our mishpacha, our family. And I know that CLM and House of David is being viciously attacked by the Spirit. I understand it. Why? Because we're getting ready to go into the fall feast of promotion. All of you are getting ready to break through. And this Jezebelic structure for years, I've been doing this 31 years now. It always shows up right before the fall feast and it always shows up between 
Tishbiav and the Fall Feast, I mean, every year it's hammering, and it's hammering harder now than ever. But it'd be very encouraging to your brothers and sisters to know that they're not the only ones. So how many, how, what's, what's your number? You add up the yeses, how many yeses that you're being influenced? Go ahead and put that number in the comment. Hallelujah. So we know it's something real. Look at those numbers. We know it's real. Amen. But praise God that we're not alone. Something that Jessica and I mentioned, she wants what you have. That's what she did. She went after your hard work. Yeah. Yeah. What Christy is saying is that, is that Jezebel wants what you have and Jezebel also wants also wants what you're going to get and especially if you're going to use it against her i mean this is like when i pray against freemasonry you know anytime i pray against freemasonry and you know, the, the place just goes crazy why because that's a root spirit particularly in america that that satan uses to control and manipulate but what are the root spirits inside freemasonry false religion jezebel and leviathan so so anyway, I'm going to have Christy come up, and, and we're going to get ready for communion. So go ahead and get, get your Kiddush cup up here. And, uh, and one of the things I want you to do is to make sure get my notes on this, okay? So if you didn't get it earlier, there it is, clmmin.com forward slash jez, J-E-Z. And go ahead and get those notes. Get, get the notes, okay? And... Uh, they're free download. Stay informed. Please feel free to share the notes um, with friends and family. Anything we f free download, sharing, and all that. Listen, we're here to bless you. We're we're here to to serve you, and um, uh, you know that's 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 our assignment here. So I'm sorry, I don't have a chair. So I'm yeah, gonna... yeah, my chair broke. <laughs> the wheel broke off my chair. So I'm actually on it. Here, you take no, this no, pillow. No, okay. No, I'm fine. No, take okay. this pillow, please. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we are in the high-tech studio. <laughs> yeah, we feel like we're at Daystar right now. Yeah, I can just see Marcus and Joni. <laughs> this is how they do it, I can promise you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> The reason the laughter's coming is because we're already free from this, and now you're getting ready. That when that laughter starts like that is because the Lord's delivering; He's already delivered you. You know, a lot. My biggest experience with with doing this for a long lot of years is when, man, you got shorter since the last time. <laughs> it's really happening. Yeah, cool. I married one of the lollipop girls from The Wizard of Oz. No, I'm teasing you. So, anyway. Um, when you get free, a lot of it just has to do with exposing the enemy. It's an amazing thing. That's why, that's why the church really needs to, we need to get out of that entertainment mode. It's great to have great worship and entertainment and all that stuff. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, if you'll just preach the gospel, and that's what I'm doing tonight, I'm preaching the gospel, okay? Red letter out of the book of Revelation, okay? I have these few things against you. So how do we do it? And we overcame who? Satan. All, all these are underlings of Satan. We overcame Satan by what? The blood. Oh, yeah. Symbolic. The blood of the lamb. And the word became flesh. <laughs> and we even have matzah from Passover. So you can see it's been pierced and striped, just like our Yeshua. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of testimony. You know, some of this, some of you are new. You didn't realize that one of the most powerful spiritual warfare weapons is right here. Yeah, we're used to all sorts of binding and loosing and stuff, and that's all good, and we do that. But I'm telling you right now, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their what? Testimony. And they love not their lives unto death. So when you say and you see, well, Rabbi asked me to uh, mark in the comments because you're testifying. 
You're confessing, according to James. Confess your faults one to another that, that, that you might be healed. All these things, when I do this, it's for a reason. It's, 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 you know, it's powerful. There's something about you writing it down. You know, the scripture says, make the vision plain. Habakkuk 2, write it on tablets. Though it tarry, wait upon it. There's something powerful mm -hmm. about that handwritten, even the way we're made, neuro-linguistically, neuro you're seeing it, you're hearing it, and now you're writing it. So now there's something happening there. There's something power in that, in that commitment. But right now what we're gonna do is we are going to come out of agreement with that influence of that Jezebel spirit, that religious spirit, and then next Tuesday, we're gonna do Leviathan, but I'm not waiting on that. We're gonna get free from all three right now, but I'll teach more on Leviathan Tuesday on Trending Tuesdays, okay? But I want you to understand uh, how we're gonna do this, okay? First of all, Father God, we come to you now, and Lord, we thank you. We go into the room of atonement, Yes. okay? This is outside the court. We go into the room of atonement. And Lord, it's here where we say, Father God, just go ahead and say it out loud with me. Say, Father God, Father God I was wrong. I was wrong. And I was guilty. And I am guilty. And I got tricked. And I got tricked. And I got influenced. And I have been influenced. By a religious spirit. By a religious spirit. A Jezebel spirit. A Jezebel spirit. And a Leviathan spirit. And a Leviathan spirit. Satan's bail structures. Satan's bail structures have influenced my mind, will, and emotions. Have influenced my mind, my will, and my emotions. And I've had some bad thoughts. And I've had bad thoughts. Lord, I repent. Lord, I repent. From all fear. From all fear. Isolation. Isolation. Anxiety. Anxiety. Depression. Depression. Thoughts of suicide. Thoughts of suicide. Running. Running. Quitting. Quitting. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That you are taking these far from me today. That you are taking these far from me today. And Father God. Father God. I now go into your mercy court. I now go into your mercy court. And I ask you. And I ask you. As just judge. As just judge. My heavenly Father. My heavenly Father. My just judge. My just judge. I brought you my list. I brought you my list. You saw it. You've seen it. I said yes. I said yes. And I now repent. And I now repent. For every place I have come in agreement. For every place that I've come in agreement. With the influence. With the influence. Of a Jezebel spirit. Of a Jezebel spirit. And Lord, I say. And Lord, I say. I have sinned against you. I have sinned against you. And you alone. And you alone. And Lord. And Lord. Your word says. Your word says. I have this against you. I have this against you. That you tolerated. That you tolerated. You came in agreement. You came in agreement. And Lord, I ask you. And Lord, I ask for you. forgiveness. For forgiveness. For tolerating. For tolerating. And coming in agreement. And coming in agreement. Knowingly or unknowingly. Knowingly or unknowingly. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I've been convicted tonight. I've been convicted tonight. And not condemned. And not condemned. And in my conviction. And in my conviction. I come to you as just judge. I come to you as just judge. And I ask. And I ask. That every snare. That every snare. From that Jezebelic spirit. From that Jezebelic spirit. That I've been influenced by. That I've been influenced by. In my family bloodline. In my family bloodline. All the way back to the garden. All the way back to the garden. Be cut off. Be cut off. Every soul tie. Every soul tie. Every evil influence. Every evil influence. Be cut off now. Be cut off now. 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 In Yeshua's in name. In Yeshua's name. Now, Father God. Now, Father God. We go into your war room. We go into your war room. And we ask. And we ask. That powerful. That powerful ministering angels ministering angels be released on our behalf be released on our behalf heavenly father heavenly father i thank you i thank you that you're not saying nevertheless that you're not saying nevertheless you have nothing against me you have nothing against me i am fully me. received and accepted by my heavenly father i am fully received and accepted by my heavenly father i ask that you restore me as a warrior i ask that you restore me as a warrior that you increase 
increase my faith. That you increase my faith. You remove me from isolation. Remove me from isolation. Remove me from all oppression and depression. Remove me from all oppression and depression. May the joy of the Lord be my strength. May the joy of the Lord be my strength. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father I God. I ask for new warring angels. I ask for new warring angels. Ministering angels. Ministering angels. To be around and about me and my family. To be around and about me and my family. And to restore me. And to restore me. And to restore. And to restore. Everything that has been stolen. Everything that has been stolen. Emotionally. Emotionally. Physically. Physically. And financially. And financially. In Yeshua's name. In Yeshua's name. Lord. Lord. Teach me your ways. Teach me your ways. Lord, I bow before you. I bow before you. And you alone. And you alone. In the spirit. In the spirit. And I ask you, Lord. And I ask you, Lord. Teach me. Teach me. To do war. To do war. Teach me. Teach me. To be your ambassador. To be your ambassador. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, I'm Lord. teachable. I am teachable. Flexible. Flexible. I am under submission. I am under submission. I am under your covering, Lord. I am under your covering, Lord. I am receiving the teacher. I am receiving the teacher. And the word from the teacher. And the word from the teacher. And thank you, Lord. And thank you, Lord. I will be stronger. I will be stronger. For this. For this. In Yeshua's name. In Yeshua's name. Now, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. In the mercy court. In the mercy court. I raise my cup to you. I raise my cup to you. And I say, Heavenly Father. And I say, Heavenly Father. This is the cup. This is the cup. That recognize that uh, um is symbolic of your blood. Is symbolic of your blood. And I decree. And I decree that we that we overcome overcome Satan. Satan by your blood. By your blood. This night. This night. We seal the victory. We seal the victory in Yeshua's name. In Yeshua's name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And the scripture says, Lord. Go ahead and say it after me. The scripture says, Lord. The scripture says, Lord. And the word became flesh. And the word became flesh. And dwelt amongst us. And dwelt amongst us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That your word. That your word. Shall not come back. Void, shall not come back void. But shall prosper. But shall prosper. In that which it is sent to do. In that which it is sent to do. And I decree. And I decree. With this bread. With this bread. And this word. And this word. As I consume it. As I consume it. It consumes me. It will consume me. And by your stripes, and Lord by Jesus. by your stripes, Lord Jesus. Yeshua, my Messiah. Yeshua, my Messiah. I am healed. I am healed. From all influences. From all influences. Of religious spirit. Of religious spirits. Jezebel spirit. Jezebel spirit. Leviathan spirit. Leviathan spirit. All Baal structures. All Baal structures. I am renewed. I am renewed. From the top of my head. From the top of my head. To the bottom to of the my bottom feet. To the bottom of my feet. I am renewed I and am healed. I am renewed and healed. I seal it. I seal it. In Yeshua's name. In Yeshua's name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Mm -hmm. Can you feel it? Man. You gave me the bigger piece. I know. <laughs> I have a good joke for that, but we can't joke during <laughs> communion. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Actually, I gave her the bigger piece. <laughs> Honestly, not. I didn't have it. I had a joke after she said it. Because we always <laughs> joke. I'll just tell it because you're family. We always joke when we're doing like uh, deliverance from generational curses in the family. And I always say, okay, and, and this is totally not true because my family were rascals. <laughs> but I always say, now we're going to break all the generational curse off our family. On my side, the two curses. And on your side, the 47 curses, which is not true. <laughs> but, but the uh, reason I gave her the bigger piece is because Unless you go back for some more juice or water, it always sticks in my mouth. So I went for the short one because I have to talk. <laughs> so anyway, see, I'm totally transparent. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Listen, yes, Lord. if you, you have Father. a testimony of being free, go to yes, KurtLandry.com. Send us your testimony of what happened tonight. Yes, thank you, Lord. Please do that. Thank you. Father. Now, I need to, mm -hmm. I want you to pray about something, okay? There it is. It's great that you're watching. Why don't you pray about becoming a Kurt Landry ministry partner? I got a testimony today from somebody from in Asia. So I don't want to say where, but. And this partner, and you're probably watching, been sending very, very large gifts. Large for our Holocaust survivors. Thank you, Lord. And I've not said anything to anyone, but the expenses during this COVID on Holocaust has been way different than any other year because of, you know, we have to different food and just a lot of stuff. And of course we didn't say no. And to be honest with you, we really didn't with what we did, we didn't really have it, okay? But we just went ahead and said yes. And here's somebody from a place, and I don't even know how you could, how you even get the money from that place here, but you you got a hold of our staff and you're, you've, you've sent, to you, you've sent three very large gifts. You've partnered with us. And it's the Lord. I mean, the Lord is gonna so bless you because... I mean, we don't have Holocaust survivors with us forever. That's that's why we like. I'm never gonna like tell them no. I mean, I mean, how does that work? I mean, every time we Christy and I go back, there's they're missing. There's some missing because they're all in their 80s and and. But this partner from Asia, thank you so much for your obedience, and you have no idea what it means. But for all of you that have partnered with us, thank you. Yes. Because what it does is it allows us to be able to say yes. 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 And you can say, well, I can only partner at the $27 a month. I can't do like this person. Listen, that $27, so much, so much. you have no idea. You have no idea what that does. It makes such a difference because if all of you do that, and you stay faithful to it, it allows us to do what we do. And in things in Israel right now, I don't try not to talk about it. I'm, I'm not a manipulative giver like, oh, it's this bad, but it's really bad over there. There's no tourism for all these months. All my friends that work in the hotels, all my bus drivers, all my tour guides, all these people that we've known for years, they're out of work. And um, there's a real issue, it's a problem. And we help where we can. And what makes the help come is this. It's the monthly giving. And, and we love it when you, when you donate large gifts. Praise God. If you want to donate a large gift right now, believe me, the needs in Israel, uh, all of it is necessary. And if you want to give a large gift, you can go to clm.com and donate forward slash. Uh, that would be great. And, and we so appreciate it. But to be honest with you, what really makes this go is your partnership. Mm -hmm. And your partnership lets us be mm -hmm. Jesus with flesh on it mm -hmm. to our Jewish people. And we're really seeing signs of revival. You know, my, my book, would you, would you go and get mm -hmm. my book? I want to show you this. this. This is an amazing, amazing testimony. The, the one in Hebrew? Yeah, I want to show it to them. Because some of them haven't seen it. Okay, I... Many of you know this. I wrote this book. If not, you can um, you can get this any place books are sold. You can just go to go to our office and and uh, clmmim.com forward slash reclaim. Okay, my staff can put that up. But this is almost like a, a biography. Except it deals about how understanding the Jewish fr fruits of Christianity can transform your faith. But it's very personal with personal stories. And what always happens in Israel with the leaders, I mean, this from Netanyahu on down, they've all said the same thing. Kurt, why do you do this? Why, why? What? They want to know. They want to know what makes you tick. And so it's amazing that 
from CLM Partners. Look at this. This is my book in Hebrew. Isn't this exciting? And you can't buy it in Israel. It's only given away. It's going in every library. Okay? It's going in Hebrew University, approved it first. It's in the Knesset. And um, this book is, is literally being, it's telling all the stories in Israel. And I want you to see this. This is something we did in this one that we didn't do in the American version. And um, they put pictures in there. And look at this picture from Passover at House of David. It's amazing, right? So they, they see this and they're going, wow, look at these Christians. They're celebrating Passover. But, but they've got pictures, everything in there. Even when, like when I was a little kid, there's my mom and dad. This is me, like probably, oh, right after I was adopted in San Francisco at Golden Gate. And, uh, and of course, this is a meeting we had with uh, BB. So all these pictures are there. It, it's just amazing. It's, and... Uh, Listen, this is in Beit Shan with our people here where we provide, and there's some Holocaust survivors planting trees. There's Benny Gatz there at uh, Ma'el Adomim where we did the roundabout. There's one of our big menorahs there. You can see that. That's Gaines and Sandy Dietrich and the Lowry's and us there. This is uh, the mayor of Jerusalem, Moshe Lyon. I love this guy. He's just, it's just precious. So all these pictures, and everyone's all excited. Oh, my picture's in the book. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just, this is an incredible thing. But your partnership, your partnership did this. And another reason I need your partnership, because looking at this picture and then looking at myself on the screen, I'm going to have to have my hair done. Otherwise, they won't recognize me because <laughs> I'm getting grayer by the minute. Anyway. Well, praise God. We want to thank you so much for being with us tonight. I hope you're as free as we feel right here. And uh, you know what? I'm going to ask Christy to come back and join us, and let's do the Shema. We did this the other day. It was powerful. All right. Okay. Ready? Shema. Israel Adonai Elohenu Adonai Echa Baruch Shem Hear, O Israel, the Lord thy God, the Lord is one. We'll see you. Make sure you share this.